Hello everyone, here's just a short update on the Avian 5 VA241 situation. As a short refresher, today an Avian 5 launched on the mission designated VA241, launching two communication satellites into geostationary orbit. One of them, SES-14, was also combined with a science package for NASA named GOLD, so it's kind of a three payload mission, but it's actually just a two payload mission because it's only two separate spacecraft. The uh, gold package is uh, combined with the SES-14 satellite. However, shortly after stage separation and second stage ignition, about nine and a half minutes into the entire flight, the communication with the rocket and the satellites broke off. Now, I have uploaded recording of that live stream and Ariane Space also released an announcement about this during their livestream. However, there has been a bit more clarification now in textual form. The issue is strictly a communications issue, at least as far as we know this far. The radio link between the rocket and the ground stations broke off and we don't know what's going on. Now, the rocket itself is mostly automated and doesn't really require communication for its flight. The communication is really there to see if everything goes well, confirm that everything goes well, and if anything goes wrong, maybe intervene, although that's not always possible. And so it could be that everything went just fine, and everything we know indicates that the rocket did perform nominal, as you might say, uh, up to the communications break-off. And while we don't have direct data from the rocket, you can somewhat observe what's going on from the ground. So, as far as we know, the rocket is probably in the right orbit and has delivered the payloads correctly. Now, the actual separation is a bit more tricky, but this can be fixed, and we will see within the next few days what will follow from this current situation. Now, there hasn't been any actual confirmation, of course, of a successful mission, because we don't have the accurate data, and of course there is some concern. After all, this communications issue was probably caused by something, and that indicates that something unforeseen or wrong probably happened to the rocket that we don't exactly know yet. And such anomalies in spaceflight are always somewhat concerning. The actual target orbit is of course relatively precise, so while we can observe that the satellites seem to be in the generally right orbit, We'll have to wait for precise data from the satellites themselves or from the rocket to confirm if the mission is actually successful. And of course the uh, separation and the uh, actual operation of the satellites also has to start and at some point communication has to return so that the mission can be successful at all. While we know that the rocket did not simply explode, and that the second stage did continue roughly into the right orbit, we don't know what is going on with the electrical system or with the communication system, so we don't know if re-establishing communications will be possible. But so far, while the situation is quite worrisome, the reasonable expectation is actually somewhat optimistic, and for now we just really don't know. So while I'm a little bit busy right now, I decided to make this little update to, uh, clarify that it's not necessarily a failure yet and we don't really know at this point it's just an anomaly of undefined outcome of course given the arian 5's uh, great track record of reliability so far it is rather interesting to investigate and whatever the result is we can expect further updates to be somewhat exciting from a technological side as for any impact this might have on other SES group satellites, we don't know yet, and of course we have to wait out the outcome of this event, but most likely other satellites of the same group are usually launched on schedule independent of any potential failures of other satellites in the same constellation, so we can expect that the Falcon 9 SES launch coming up this week will probably not be influenced by this too much, and if this turns out to be a failure, a replacement satellite will potentially be built far later out. With that, I will close this short update. I will always be waiting and keeping you up to date with any further developments, and as always, thanks for watching.